This is WBEN Radio News. I'm Lou Douglas. A blizzard paralyzes western New York. Motorists are stranded and traffic grinds to a halt. And the Senate begins debate on natural gas emergency legislation. These and other top stories of the hour on WBEN Radio News. Most of the Buffalo area is paralyzed after blizzard conditions whip through the area shortly before noon today. Strong winds are continuing to whip up blizzard conditions and blowing and drifting snow has produced numerous whiteouts. Traffic has ground to a halt. Numerous traffic accidents are reported all over western New York and hundreds of motorists have abandoned their automobiles to search for emergency shelter. Grand Island at this time continues to be marooned with both the north and south bridges closed down. Motorists at this time are stranded on the bridges in their cars. Also, the New York State Thruway has been shut down from Syracuse to the Pennsylvania State Line, as well as the entire Niagara section of the New York State Thruway. Fire halls and police stations throughout the area are offering refuge to stranded motorists, and authorities are urging residents to open up their doors to helpless travelers. Numerous suburban areas around Buffalo have declared snow emergencies. The heavy snowfall appears to be over as far as the storm is concerned right now, but the Buffalo meteorologist George Parrish says the problems resulting from it will continue. Well, it actually, it's not even snowing now. There's no snow falling from the sky. It's all blowing, all snow that fell and blowing around. The problem is the high winds. How high are the winds? Well, we've had gusts to 65 miles an hour at Buffalo Airport. Niagara Falls has had gusts to 75 miles an hour. We're expecting them to abate sometime after midnight, but they will remain strong through the weekend. The official Buffalo temperature has edged below zero and will remain near that mark through Sunday. Efforts to clear the snow-clogged streets of Buffalo have virtually ground to a halt. The streets commissioner, James Lindner, reports the situation as serious. Uh, we're at a standstill. Uh, we've got a monumental traffic jam throughout the city. Uh, ostensibly, all the merchants downtown and all the business managers allowed their people to go home at the same time, it appears. Uh, we've got people in the street. Uh, but they're not really accomplishing what we'd like them to do. Right now we have the Department of Transportation uh, in the garage servicing their equipment. My second trick is in the garage servicing their equipment. And we're not going out to list of size because, at least until the traffic's down, because we can't do anything. Mr. Lindner says the National Guard is still scheduled to begin assisting the state and city plowing crews on Monday. Attempts to airlift the first National Guard equipment into Buffalo today failed when the weather forced the plane to divert from Niagara Falls to Schenectady. All around Buffalo, workers have been stranded in their places of business because of the storm. One stranded worker at the Thruway Plaza in the town of Cheektowaga, Bert Wagner, tells WBEN Radio News. The Thruway Plaza is snowed right in. We, can't, we cannot get up on Broadway, or we can't get over to Walden, can't get to Harlem. So there's going to be a lot of people staying here, at least uh, until the storm uh, lets up a little bit. So if anyone is worried about their people or that work out this way, they should know they're here at the plaza. Stranded worker Bert Wagner. Among those marooned by the storm was WBEN reporter Marty Gleason, who telephoned from the Cheektowaga Highway garage on Union Road. Marty talked to another person removed there, Isabel Bodner of Williamsville, an employee of American Standard. I left the office at a quarter to one, and I've been here since three o'clock. And I want to uh, express my appreciation to the superintendent of the highway department who sent the men out to the car to guide us back here. They're serving us coffee, and, and it's just wonderful. What kind of storm has this been for you? It's the worst that I can remember. I was never stranded before in my life. Isabel Bodner of Williamsville. Meanwhile, at the Greater Buffalo International Airport, no flights are coming in or out at this hour since visibility is near zero. And this just in, the New York State Thruway has now been closed from Amsterdam, 30 miles west of Albany, to the Pennsylvania State Line. The Thruway Authority says that blowing and drifting snow has forced the closing of the superhighway. Now a 323-mile stretch of the Thruway is closed down. The Niagara Mohawk Power Corporation reports that 5,000 customers over a wide area of the Niagara frontier in Genesee County are now without power. All crews are out and attempting to get to the problem areas. The utility asks that only customers without electric service call. All other calls should be held off until the first of the week. 
New York Telephone Company officials are urging area residents to avoid using the telephone for social calls. Spokesman James Rhodes said that the phones should be used for emergencies only until the storm abates. New York State Electric and Gas in Lockport is appealing to all commercial and public customers in Erie, Niagara County, and Orleans County to further curtail the use of natural gas. New York State Electric and Gas has requested that natural gas consumption be reduced to a minimum of 50 percent. The latest problem developed after the Brooklyn Union Gas Company canceled a contract for gas they planned on supplying to New York State Electric and Gas. Brooklyn Union claims they now need the fuel for their own purposes. WBEN News Time, six minutes past five o'clock. New York State Thruway 50, exit 50 through exit 55 is closed. And the Niagara section of the Thruway is closed, plus the Grand Island bridges are closed. And life is pretty tedious. Just occurs to me that we have a bunch of vehicles here sitting out in front of our radio station here on Elmwood Avenue. And a lot of folks are, are wandering around their vehicles and everything else. And if you folks are cold, you might as well bop on in here. Because we got, if one thing, we got plenty of heat for the time being anyway. All right? Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, now we'll check out some other cancellations for you and closings and all that other stuff. In just a moment at 93 WBEN, stand by. What are you so happy about? Well, I'm thinking about my trip to Rome. Arriva Dirci Roma. I'll fly from Buffalo to New York, then Al Italia 747 jet to Rome with great Italian food on the plane. Mamma mia, seven days in Rome. Beautiful. The Coliseum, the Forum, the Via Veneto, sidewalk cafes, and I'll be staying at the Savoy Hotel. Great. When you leaving, Charlie? March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. I hope. You hope? Yeah, I haven't won the trip yet. You mean you expect to win a vacation like that? Come on. Sure, it's called OTB's Roman Holiday for two, so I put my free entry in at OTB. I didn't have to buy anything. They'll draw the winner on February 28th, and I think I'm going to win. A positive thinker, that's me. Charlie, you have a great idea. Excuse me. Where are you going, Pat? To OTB, Charlie. Where else? Arrivederci, Roma. <laughs> you see, I figure you don't have to be a Roman to win a trip to Rome. Okay, we are monitoring the Buffalo Amateur Radio Repeaters Association, and uh, we have been uh, told that Sheridan Drive is just a big parking lot. <laughs> and uh, north of Youngman at 290 is backed up. And again, guys, I remind you, Niagara County is in a state of emergency. If you're on the air or if you're on the road there, uh, you're going to be in violation. It's open for emergency vehicles only. Uh, Mike Slepian is uh, downtown and Michael I, I have a feeling that you probably be listening and, and I wonder if in the next couple of minutes you can come up and give us a report on what the uh, conditions downtown might be through the Buffalo Amateur Radio Repeaters Association okay we'll, we'll uh, be monitoring that all right let's go to Lou Douglas in WBEN newsroom uh, this is Lou Douglas in the WBEN newsroom I hope to be talking to Mayor Stanley Mikowski uh, he has a special announcement we haven't got the mayor all right, thank you. Uh, the information from the mayor's office is, and we will have the mayor on the phone, is that Mayor Mikowski has requested, or rather has received word from Governor Kerry that uh, he has requested President Carter to declare Buffalo in a state of emergency and make it available for federal funds. We hope to have Mayor Mikowski on the phone. We just received that news in the WBEN newsroom. Okay, Lou, thank you so much. Mayor Murkowski expecting to uh, have the uh, President of the United States declare Buffalo a state of emergency, and that would make it available for federal funds that would help us with the cleanup after all this takes place. Attention all employees, Harrison Radiator Division, Lockport and Buffalo Plants. Due to weather conditions, second and third shifts have been canceled for today, Friday, January 28th. Normal operations will resume on Monday unless employees are otherwise notified. An important message from National Fuel Gas. All residential customers are urged to turn their thermostats back 65 degrees by day, 55 degrees at night. All stores, offices, and commercial buildings must have temperatures of 55 degrees at all times. It is urgent because weather forecasters predict continued sub-zero temperatures through Monday. We must save more gas now to prevent prolonged closings. Set home thermostat 65 degrees by day, 55 degrees at night. Commercial buildings, 55 degrees at all times. 
We have other cancellations that are continuing to stream in, and I'll get them to you as quickly as I can. Attention Buffalo Evening News readers and carriers. Because of the storm, no home delivery of tonight's edition of the Buffalo Evening News. Repeat, no home delivery of tonight's edition of the Buffalo Evening News. And we'll get to the cancellations right after this. A few months ago, upstate milk cooperatives introduced Western New York to Nutrish, the new milk with a new benefit. How's Nutrish doing? Here's what Mrs. Nancy Smith of Hamburg told us. My son Jeffrey is 16 months old. He's always had an allergic problem to milk, and his formula that he was on was getting more and more expensive and harder to find. Then I heard about Nutrish. He hasn't had any bad reactions to it. The doctors feel that it's taken the place of formula very well. It will be closed Saturday and Sunday, but hopefully they will reopen Monday at the regular time. Henwood Restaurant, open for stranded motorists. Have some coffee, that's at Elmwood and Hinman. Both Pit, Pit, Pit Petri stores, 378 Delaware and Main near uh, Harlem, will be closed on Saturday. If you're stranded on Grand Island, we have a number of private homes that have opened their doors to uh, uh, extend a welcome to you. 1121 Baseline between Love Road and Gerald. There's food lodging and sleeping accommodations. And just drop in. Uh, private home to stranded individuals at 125 Richmond Avenue near Summer, upstairs. Employees, corporate headquarters, Twin Fair, will remain at the office until it's not so bad, so don't worry. Graphic Controls has several hundred employees safe and sound in their building, so don't worry about them. FNN Burt Company, Walden Avenue, Cheek Dewaga reports most employees staying overnight. They're all okay. All gen stores will not be open tomorrow. William Grange encourages its employees who have attempted to get home to come back to the company if you can. Seneca Bailey residents who become stranded, oh, they will provide shelter there. Okay. Dunlop Tire and Rubber Company, Sheridan and River Road, town of Tonawanda, New York, recommending all employees stay in the plant until the weather uh, begins to improve. Provisions have been made for food and shelter. Chevrolet Tonawanda Forge Plant has canceled second and third shift operations for tonight. Maintenance employees should continue to report for work as scheduled for weekend overtime. Regular operations will resume next week with the light up crew Sunday night. PG Steel Products, Chictawaga, closed and will resume normal operations on Monday. All offices, Western New York Savings Bank, closed uh, on Saturday, opening Monday morning. Abel's Bagels canceling second and third shifts today. All shifts canceled Saturday. Production will resume Sunday, weather permitting. Supervisors will advise. Let's see, BC Automotive closed till Monday. Schumann Plastics, all shifts canceled until Monday. Spalding Fiber, Tonawanda, second and third shifts. All work canceled until Sunday midnight. Erie County Savings Banks closed today and tomorrow. Trico Products, all three plants, Buffalo areas closed. Normal operations expected to begin in the evening of the third shift, Sunday at midnight, unless otherwise advised. Coming to least, uh, at least a minus 70 degrees outside. Minus 70 when you consider the wind chill factor. Now the forecast, blizzard warning continue tonight. Westerly winds 20 to 45, higher gusts. Near zero visibility, winds diminishing 15 to 30 tomorrow. Bitterly cold, occasional snow flurries tonight. One to three inches overnight, low five to 10, uh, below zero. Continued cold and windy and occasional snow flurries likely Saturday, Saturday night and Sunday. Low Saturday night, about zero, the high Saturday near five. High Sunday, 10 to 15. And again, our temperature stands at uh, minus one, and it's 5.30 at 93 WBEN, and here's Lou Douglas and the latest headlines. Buffalo Mayor McCoskey told WBEN News minutes ago that he has requested and the governor has asked the President of the United States to declare Buffalo a disaster area. Erie County would also benefit from such an order if it is issued by President Carter. Buffalo is in the midst of one of its worst winters in history and is now in the grip of blizzard-like conditions which have paralyzed much of the Niagara frontier. The New York State Thruway is now closed from Amsterdam, 30 miles east of Albany, to the Pennsylvania state line. Also closed is the entire Niagara section of the thruway. Hundreds of motorists have been forced to abandon their automobiles throughout the area and seek emergency shelter. All roadways in Niagara County have been declared in a state of emergency. The chief county law enforcement officer, James Ferry, said that vehicles will be in violation of state law. Only emergency vehicles will be permitted until the lifting of the emergency sometime in the next 36 hours. 22 persons are missing following a flash fire which swept an old hotel on the Minnesota-North Dakota border this morning. The blaze was fed by 45-mile-an-hour winds with a temperature at 25 degrees below zero. 
A major blizzard is raging across the lower Great Lakes with winds of up to 75 miles an hour blowing snow and reducing visibility to near zero. Emergencies have been declared in several southwestern lower Michigan counties. Frigid air is continuing to rush into Ohio. The combined effect of the Arctic temperatures and the strong winds produced wind chill factors between 40 and 60 degrees below zero across the region. The index dropped to 70 below across the upper Mississippi Valley and the northern plains. Schools and businesses have been urged to close, and in Chicago alone, half a million children stayed home from school. Freddie Prinz was on the operating table for two hours today after shooting himself in the head. A spokesman at UCLA Medical Center said the hospital's switchboard was jammed with phone calls from well-wishers shortly after the comedian's condition was announced and that cards and flowers are pouring into that hospital. And repeating, Buffalo Mayor Stanley Mikowski told WBEN News that Governor Hugh Carey is requesting President Carter to declare Buffalo and Erie County a major disaster area. The mayor said that such a disaster declaration would provide federal funds for the area for a snow cleanup. Those are top stories. We'll have further details. This is Lou Douglas. All right, we're uh, we're moving right along as best we can. Uh, let's let me start passing some along some of these things along to you so that we can kind of catch up. All right, we have a blood mobile on a blood run to Mercy Hospital, disabled at South Park Avenue and Hamburg Street. Now we are taking these things as they come and uh, you know as they show some priority. Although the University of Buffalo Law School is closed, the Marine Bar Review course will be held on schedule at 6 p.m. at the law school. You got to be kidding me. Well, I guess that's what they're going to do. All right, uh, Skajakwita District Scout Dinner Dance at the uh, Townhouse Restaurant scheduled for tomorrow night is canceled until further notice. The William Hanger Company offering sanctuary for downtown stranded persons who need shelter and food. We had that a little while ago. They expect to be open all night, and uh, they will be closed Saturday and Sunday, but hopefully they will reopen Monday at the regular time. Henwood Restaurant open for stranded motorists. Have some coffee. That's at Elmwood and Hinman. Both Pit, Pit, Pit Petri stores, 378 Delaware and Main near uh, Harlem, will be closed on Saturday. If you're standing on Grand Island, we have a number of private homes that have opened their doors to uh, uh, extend a welcome to you. 1121 Baseline between Love Road and Gerald, there's food lodging and sleeping accommodations. And just drop in. Uh, private home to stranded individuals at 125 Richmond Avenue near Summer, upstairs. Employees... Corporate headquarters Twin Fair will remain at the office until it's not so bad, so don't worry. Graphic Controls has several hundred employees safe and sound in their building, so don't worry about them. FNN Burt Company, Walden Avenue, Cheek Dewaga reports most employees staying overnight. They're all okay. All gen stores will not be open tomorrow. William Grange encourages its employees who have attempted to get home to come back to the company if you can. Seneca Bailey residents who become stranded, oh, they will provide shelter there. Okay. Dunlop Tire and Rubber Company, Sheridan and River Road, Town of Tonawanda, New York, recommending all employees stay in the plant until the weather uh, begins to improve. Provisions have been made for food and shelter. Chevrolet Tonawanda Forge Plant has canceled second and third shift operations for tonight. Maintenance employees should continue to report for work as scheduled for weekend overtime. Regular operations will resume next week with the light-up crew Sunday night. PG Steel Products, Chictawaga, closed and will resume normal operations on Monday. All offices, Western New York Savings Bank, closed uh, on Saturday, opening Monday morning. Abel's Bagels, canceling second and third shifts today. All shifts canceled Saturday. Production will resume Sunday, weather permitting. Supervisors will advise. Let's see, BC Automotive closed till Monday. Schumann Plastics, all shifts canceled until Monday. Spalding Fiber, Tonawanda, second and third shifts. All work canceled until Sunday midnight. Erie County Savings Banks closed today and tomorrow. Trico Products, all three plants, Buffalo areas closed. Normal operations expected to begin in the evening of the third shift, Sunday at midnight, unless otherwise advised.